It has been a long journey for creating an easy way to make a game with Unity. Starting from testing the idea on different types of games, building an early access so more people can try it out and give feedback on the package, but the journey is not done there. And in this video, I'll try to give you a quick update on what's new with this project and catch you up with anything that you might have missed. To this point, the last released version is 1.1.0 and there's a link in description where you can download this package so you can use it for your games. In this version, I have recreated the preset units that you might have seen in the early access. So the move horizontal, move vertical, rotate horizontal and rotate vertical, but more preset units are yet to come. A big addition to this version is a new game template, find them all. It is there to demonstrate how you can build a level selector and show you how to use the level system in your game. So if you want to create a game with levels, be sure to check this game template out, or you can even use it as a starting base for your game. So let me quickly walk you through this game before we continue looking at other changes that were made in this version. So over here, I have a restart button. If I click that, all of the levels that I've completed before will be restarted. So I have to start with level one. If I click on any of these levels that are grayed out, I can't access them. So let's start by clicking on level one. And here I just have a very simple thing that you have to do is just find five logs. After you find those items, you get a level complete and it goes back to the level selector. Now you can see that level two is unlocked and we can go back to level one if you want, or we can go to level two. So this is just a simple game template to demonstrate how the level selector works and how you can set it up so that the level that you want actually will load. For the level selector to work, I've added a new unit, select level. This is a way you can select which level to load. Now in this new version, I also added some random units. So right here we have a random vector three unit and also there's set or add, random position, rotation or scale. If you want to position or offset an object at a random location after you spawned it. So currently these are all the units that are provided in this package to simplify making games in Unity by using visual scripting. You can test out some of these units by following the link in the description. There's some demo units that you can try out. If you like the units, you can purchase the full project with all the game templates that are included and save the time of recreating some of these units that can help you out. If you have any suggestions or any problems, you can write it in the comments of this video or you can reach out on Discord and find more information there. I hope all of you find this package useful and I hope it saves you lots of time in making your games. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.